Merry Christmas, everybody, and good morning from, from myself and everyone here at Cybertrain University on Christmas Eve. How everybody's doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, Ken. Good morning, Donna, Mark. Good to see you. Lita, Merry Christmas. Good to see you all. All right. Tom, good to see you. Gary, everybody. I hope like Grant, Merry Christmas. Neil, Merry Christmas to you, everybody. So it looks, it looks, you know, very interesting. A lot of you guys did show up this morning. <laughs> yeah, like I said, money never sleeps, right? Especially what's been happening with the market. My God, we have the, they said we had the biggest uh, correction in the market in seven years. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to throw it out there. You know, I, I said it earlier, but this really reminds me a lot more like 2007, 2008 with the banking crisis. And, uh, you know, we always have it every eight years. Every eight years, there's always some type of a uh, of a correction. And, you know, this one was just obviously was just a little bit late. You know, if you go back, you know, look at all the years, it's always like an eight year correction. But the market always finds a way to come back. And um, all I'm all I could say right now regarding about what's happened in the market, if you did what I told you to do and you bought that insurance policy on that ETF, uh, you probably did pretty well, but on your swings, let me tell you, people are getting destroyed, crushed, you know, and uh, cash is king. Now, listen, I'm long two positions right now, and I'm getting kind of a little beat up right now. Uh, not terrible. I mean, I'm a, I mean uh, not like some other people. I mean, I didn't lose half my money. You know, some of these people got cr crushed. I'm down like maybe like 10, 15 percent, you know, on um on, on two trades on the CSQ and on GE, I did buy GE, you know, and uh, it's at a major support level. So I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm holding on from there. But let me tell you, if there's any stocks out there as a day trader, this is a, you know, really, it's kind of hard to trade on the downtrend as much on a market down because you don't know because when you're down so much, people are like, is this really the bottom? Is this really the bottom? So, you know, unless you're, there's a lot of chaos going on with shorting and everything else, but you know, we're 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 going to be testing some major support levels. And listen, you know, just listen really closely what happens uh, in the White House to see what they do with the Federal Reserve. There was rumors that he was going to fire the guy from the Federal Reserve, uh, President Trump, and then that said that was not true. So they just a lot, you know, the, it's incredible how everything is so news driven. But um, but I, I expect this was going to happen. Um, you know, a lot of people made a lot of money in the market. A lot of mutual funds did. They wanted to cash in. This has been going on since October, uh, with this with this market, and it's just more or less when it rains, it starts pouring on in December. But uh, I, I honestly, I never seen a market like this out of the 25 years I've done business. Never seen it this bad. You know, at this time of the year, I've seen a lot of bad markets in my time, um, and usually you get them in like in March or August or you know. You always get a, you know, April crash because of the tax season, you know, um, you know, during the summertime. I never see one around Christmas time. So, so we'll call it the Christmas crash uh, <laughs> if, that, if that has a little ring to it. But uh, but listen, guys, there's going to be some really, really good buys, really good buys. So I hope a lot of people are sitting in some cash. But, you know, we're day traders here. And to be a very good swing trader, you got to be a very good day trader. So as a day trader, we know what's happening in the market. We see what's moving. We see how the market's moving. Listen, there. I'll look at, like, listen, Apple, I mean, 149 from the high of 230. I mean, just literally lost everything almost all the way down to 2017. Lost everything in one month that it took two years to get there. I mean, NVIDIA. All of them, all of them that, all of them that 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 was uh, up huge, and these are all brand name stocks. I mean, I can go down the list. There's just so many of them. Uh, you know, all the technologies, even uh, AMD, uh, they work so hard to get where they're at. But you could see, like, you know, and I have AMD on my watch list, guys. A lot of us saw AMD, you know, in the middle of the year go from ten dollars to to almost forty. You know, listen. There are some good buys. I mean, this stock goes down a dollar more. You, you you just gotta you just gotta listen. There's gonna be a little cushion. You gotta get in there. You know, you gotta buy it somewhere close to near that floor. You, it's very hard to buy at the floor and sell at the ceiling. You know, good traders always buy in between. So just get ready regarding what's going on. Now, um, regarding what happened on Friday, listen. There were a couple of stocks. I just want to touch upon those. And, you know, and cover some of those. But there were some good runners. MRIN uh, was a nice little, I spelled it wrong. Oh, there it is. 
Uh, MRIN came up that had a couple of nasty shakes, but you know, we listen, we didn't really find that much in pre market, but uh, but this one, you know, once it, the market opened up, it did go from seven to 10 in you know about three hours, so that one wasn't bad. The DB uh, VT that one also had a great pop right at the close. I don't know where that came from, but boom, that thing just took right off. Uh, once again, stock got destroyed uh, from 25 all the way down to five, so we had a little bit of a dead cat bounce. You know, I always like to trade these dead cat bounces. You want to get really, really crushed because you always get these people want to average down, just like what we're seeing right now. So the same exact thing that you're seeing what's happening in the market, if you'll notice, like, stocks like this one, um, how they rebound is exactly how we would trade today's markets. So that's the way you have to look at it. One of you just mentioned Ferrari, too. Yeah, race, look at it. It's at 90. It's at, um, look, it's at, uh, what is that, the uh, last trade? Trading around... 98, I mean, $150 stock. I mean, we had some really good runs on some of these stocks. So listen, I'm just going to say this. A lot of you guys wish that. You said, Don, I wish I still had Amazon. Well, let me bring up that one. Amazon's down to what, 1300 1350 from all the way down to 2100 So they, there are some buys that people thought, like, I wish I could have, would have, should have. You know, well, guess what? Wake up because it's going to be coming soon. So cash is king right now. Sal says, Powell, we're, we're, we're fired, replaced. How would you play that? You know, David, um, how to play it is the way you want to play how everybody else plays it off, right? Remember, we're just the ants, okay? We're just the ants, and there's no way that I, I'm going to go out there and ever say, I think this is what's going to happen, or that's what's going to happen. If this guy leaves, or this guy gets elected, and this guy gets fired, because I've done that, and there's so many more times than others that there's smarter people out in the street. I don't know how the street thinks, other than from experience. I'll tell you what I would do in experience. If it, you know, chaos, unfortunately, makes uh, catast uh, makes opportunities for all of us. So you just got to, as a day trader, we're in cash, right? So how do we play it? Let's see how the street plays it, and then we'll play it and just be in cash. That's the way how we have to look at it. It does. Doesn't, doesn't it feel great, Jerry, to be in cash? Doesn't it feel, like, awesome that, you know, here you have people crying and screaming what's going on, and um, but us as traders, this is why you can't get political and, you know, wish that this is going to crash and that's going to go up and this guy – you, you, we're all the same thing. Cash is king. Always cash is king. And you very rarely get opportunities like that. I'm going to repeat this again. You know, you want this to happen. So, because I know a lot of us do have some cash on the side that we, because remember, when we day trade, you don't need a lot of money to do this. We don't need a lot. All right. So, what do you do with the rest of the money? People's like, well, what do you do with it? Well, listen, I do do some swing trading, you know, but it's unfortunately, that I, I, I didn't want to chase. I mean, a lot of things were up pretty big. So you got your opportunities coming. So anyway, a couple of stocks we'll keep an eye on this morning. Uh, we got the MICT that's moving. That one is up right now 44%. This is the only one that I really see as a very inexpensive stock that's moving. Uh, I don't think it's going to be extremely that volatile. Looking at previous uh, previous. Uh, movement what the stock has done in the past but that one's not terrible you know as in what working off the big percentage gainers and losers dwt another one not up a lot it's up three percent i mean listen if you look at the big percentage gainers there's really not much out there i mean you got to buy out in md mb you know we're not going to be going there anywhere um you know it's going up about two three cents but other than that just stay away from it you know 13 percent acor but it's really not doing that much. Um, and then you got some stocks getting crushed. This is pretty funny. I want to point this out. Look at this stock right here. HSGX. I just looked at it earlier. Down 73%. This stock um, was about $3. Got crushed. If you guys remember, it went down to like 50 cents. Some of us would trade on a dead cat bounce. And some people are like, oh, maybe we'll come back. We'll go back to where it was. And look at it now. It's at like 10 cents. It reminds me of HMNY. You know, another one down 72%. I mean, you might get a little dead cat bounce on this, but just this is not. <laughs> I'll throw on a watch list just because we're in a day trade, have some fun on it. Uh, just be very careful, though, okay? That's the only one that probably looks a little interest, interesting. Everything else is complete garbage. NBEV is down uh, 12% this morning. That was pretty fun stock. 
And then we just have ETFs. That's it. All right, guys. Anything I'm missing I did not call out? I keep fading out, Lita. Uh, maybe because I'm moving my face a little away from the mic. Let me raise the volume for you. Hopefully, that looks a little better. All right. Anything else, guys, that we're missing? All right, good. So, anyway, uh, regarding about uh, what's going on today, remember, today's a half a day. So, uh, I'll be busy cooking. So, you know, uh, we're very light staff today. So, the CTU, we always want to take care of our employees. So, a lot of them are going to be just doing their thing. Uh, it's I don't expect it to be a very crazy market, but we are down right now. So, we'll see how, how it plays out. I just want this year to end. <laughs> That's basically what I'm looking at. Uh, and look at some great buying opportunities. But in the meantime, everyone, I wish everyone a happy and healthy, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And uh, like I said, we'll see what happens going into the new year. All right? Fast UPS and FedEx shipping some of your dishes. <laughs> I'll send them over to you, Ken. I'll take some good photos. All right. Merry Christmas, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading.